Child who and he like if somebody called you poo poo. Fighting. Sometimes there are some there are sometimes when people fight. Stop! Good talking. Would you like a turn to read? Did you ever know? This is a film about children who have trouble controlling themselves. They are in a special class and have great difficulty behaving in a socially acceptable manner. But this film is not only about Ephraim and his teacher, Sonny. It's about all children who go to school and need to learn more self-control. These kinds of lessons in emotional control are among the most important lessons a child must learn in his early school years, although they are typically not even a part of the curriculum. However, in this class, they are. I went to McDonald's. Did you? I, when you put your name on We will not attempt an explanation of the causes for particular behaviors. Instead, we will look at a number of crisis situations in which the teacher is compelled to make immediate decisions and draw upon a reservoir of responsive strategies in order to deal with defiant and assaultive behavior. I know. I think if you hold my, if I hold my... The first strategy is to identify the child's reaction. Sonny will validate his feelings and accept his emotional mood. Oh, that thing's bad. I can see you're very angry, Stephen, and you don't like when I tell you. You don't like when I tell you no. You may not, you may not spill things on the floor. You may not spill the Dear, dirt. Now the dirt is all out. Yes. I can see that. You were so angry that now you I'm still... Now I'm your plan. Yes, I know that you were angry oh, at Sunny. Yes, you were angry at Sunny. The record goes no. floor. No hitting. That's not allowed. And that hurts. That hurts. I don't like it when you hit me. If you're angry, tell me. If you hit me, I'm going to hold your arms. No, I'm going to let go. I'm going to let go. See if you can stop. And see if you can stop, because if you do, you can go out to play. If you can stop yourself, you can go out to play with the other children. I'm going to punch you. You're angry I'm going to punch you so hard that I'm going to break under. You're crying because you want your milk now? Not now. Move After we do our exercise game. I'm getting it. If you can wait. And, and if you can wet, I'll spill this juice right over your body. Stephen, spilling juice is not allowed in school, and I know you really want your milk. Yes, well, if you can okay, wait just a little while, milk. maybe you can have a nice glass full. If you shut up, you can have it! Do you think you can wait? Let me know. Norma is not using his words. Sometimes you He's don't want to wait your turn. When you want to do things excellent. Exactly. exactly. Mm -hmm. Please your way. And another people want to, to do it, things exactly their way. Sometimes you get angry. And we haven't forgotten that. Here we go. <coughs> what do people do when they're I'm angry. Go me up. Angry. 
As the child begins to understand that it is all right to feel strongly, Sonny will encourage and teach him to verbalize, to talk about his feelings rather than act them out. Ow! Ow! Tell him, Ow! no hitting. Ow! Tell him, don't hit me. Hitting hurts. <coughs> talk when you're angry. Talk when you're angry. Stop it! Good Shut up, you big You woman. stop it! <laughs> Tell him why you're angry. Uh, you want to uh, be a winner. You want to uh, be a winner sometimes. Uh, Talk, use your words. Why were you so angry at Sunny today? It isn't easy to talk about when you're angry, but sometimes it works. You can tell, even tell the person who made you angry how you feel. Right, don't we do that at school a lot? We tell the person who made us angry, right? Real friends make it work. Right. Tell him. Tell him, right. Tell him you don't like it when he takes it away. What happened? Tell me why, why I think got so angry at you. I don't know. That's the finger that we say, don't you push me down when children I don't know what stuff is right. And also, Lori, children take out. Lori, you stop pushing me down. Okay. You can play with me. And you can hold my hand. I can hold your hand. But we don't like when you push, right? And we don't like when you take my toys away. Get your pointing finger ready. Okay. Tell everybody. Here we go. As the children learn to accept their own feelings and talk about them, a next and more complicated task is to teach each child to problem solve in his own style. Since the goal is to teach the children to control their own behavior, they must be given limited but real responsibility for themselves. You know what I would like to do? Don't take my record away. That's my record. Right. Don't take my record away. What would Christopher like to say? I want your Don't take my toys away. Good using words, everybody. Sonny will give the child options to make decisions and choices. This frequently results in confrontations and power struggles in which the teacher does not seem to be the winner. But one must understand that these interactions are part of the essential learning process and ultimately will enhance the child's capacity for socially acceptable behavior. Norma, he's very angry because he didn't get the shaving cream first. But if he stops and he comes over, he can have as much shaving cream as he wants and whatever color he wants. Why do you have to throw all the things around? What happened to your words? I am mad at you, Lori. Tell her. Next time you give her, give Steven some shaving cream first when I, when I sit down first. I'm gonna punch you in the eye. Lori, he's very angry at you. <laughs> Lori, you I don't... think I'm playing, huh? You watch. No, listen, I don't think that Lori knew that you I were to be far. first. Did anybody tell her? Do you want me to tell her what happened? Maybe yes. she doesn't. Come, let's tell her. And I'll you explain to stupid. her. Lori, you know why he's angry? 
because he was the first one to sit down and i said okay. that because he was sitting he may have shaving cream first did you know about that no i didn't know she didn't know that's why words are so good you were cleaning the table okay that was then now i'm going to ask ephraim what we can do to make him feel better okay. what do you think we can do to make you feel better Oh, that would hurt. That would hurt. I have an idea. Listen, I have an idea. You can even use it by yourself if you want to. I said, that's not, that's not, that's not my idea. What is? My idea is to punch her in the eye. I know that. I know that's my idea. Punching in the eye hurts a lot. Punching the eye is not the same as talking. Yes, it is, too. Well, I have, I'm going to have to go back to the children who are playing. And any time you want, you can join us and use it. I know that we don't agree at all. OK. Because of that stupid dumb, stupid dumb, and silly and stupid and don't know anything, that's glory. Well, she didn't know that you were to be first. I'm smarter than her. Well, you're, so, glory you're, very, you're very angry, Ephraim. Listen, Ephraim can join us when he wants. And this could be his special table. It's up to him. Let's go play with the children who are using the shaving cream. OK, Lori, could you give uh, Christopher a smock, please? And Norma, just you save this table for Ephraim. Maybe he'll want to put the shaving cream on the table himself. And well, when you stop feeling so angry. When your friend says something that makes you feel angry, sometimes you shout. And sometimes you cry. Sometimes you even feel so bad that you wish the world would go away. How come? Don't we sometimes feel like being alone? Mm -hmm. And, all, and, if, and if you want the war to go away, then all, all the people go away? Sometimes we feel like that for a little while. They don't really go away, but just we just want to be alone for a while. Oh, How about somebody pour the juice over your head? If Stephen pours juice at Sunny, I'm going to get very angry. We don't pour juice in school. Stephen is very angry. I'm gonna put juice on this rack. What can we do to stop Stephen from being so angry? I'm gonna run around the table. Maybe if Stephen came over, we can talk about it. What can we do to make Stephen feel better? What can we do to make you feel better? Thank you, Ethel. More music here today. Sorry. I don't care if no more musical chances tomorrow. Okay. You know what we can do? <laughs> we'll have to play a game when Ephraim is not here. Okay. He's not letting us play, and we'd like to play. Uh, and when it's Christmas, you won't even be here. Well, we'll just have to play a time that Ephraim isn't here. You know what? What? Hey, I got an idea. What? Why don't when Ephraim's not here, we'll play without him. When we that's leave, when that's he's an not idea. Here. Lori, tomorrow when we play Alley Cat, Eric is going to have a turn to follow me. He used his words. He was angry because he couldn't get a turn, but he used his words. And now we're ready to walk around the circle. He was very angry because he couldn't follow me, and he used his words. Okay. When he's feeling better, he can join us for walking around the circle. Okay? Okay, here we go. Walk around the circle, please. Okay. Get two chairs. Okay. Right here. Walking. Walking. Here we go. Walking around the circle, not in chairs. It's walking around the circle time. I know you were feeling so angry because you wanted to walk behind me. And you asked Ephraim, didn't you? And he said, maybe tomorrow can have a turn. Does that make you feel better? What can we do to make you feel better? Turn around. You want me to get up? Okay. Hey, what would you like to do? Now? That's a good idea. You can follow me now. Come on. So That's a good idea. Okay. Okay. Can't catch me. Let's sit down.
Yes, wait. The music can tell us. Almost. Almost. Oh, here we go. Stop and rest. Everybody sit down. Here we go. Did you do the reading? What today? do you do when teacher makes a mistake? Can we figure that out and solve that? What do we do when a teacher makes a mistake? Can you tell us? Tell them stop making mistakes. Good. You use your words. My turn. Remember when Lori made a mistake and didn't give you the shaving cream at first? words. Okay. Who would like to help Eric read? Hey, I know. Okay, Eric, let's go. What could you do when someone wants your toy? What could you do when someone wants your toy, Eric? You remember this morning when you wanted Gregory's letters? Mm -hmm. What did you do when Gregory said? What did you say, Gregory, when Eric wanted your letters? Um, uh, he um, cannot have that. Right. What can, when, 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 when I'm finished with that. That was good talking. When we're finished with our toys, we can share them with our friends. Ephraim? What could you do when you don't want to join yeah. the... Hey, um, Let's ask Gregory. Right, sometimes if we don't want to join, we can be a watcher. Okay, we're waiting for Eric to come and join us. Yeah, I feel better now. Come on, Eric. Time to play our game. Okay, here we go. Okay. Here we go. Would you like to join us? Do you want to play with us? It's up to you. Do you want to play with us? Don't want to play with us? You can sit here and be a watcher, okay? Okay, everybody. <laughs> I feel okay. Have a good night, Joanna. Hey, Joanna. Hey, Joanna. Sometimes giving the children a little extra time and space enables them to arrive at an acceptable solution. There are times I have to let go and give them opportunities to work out their own problems. Let's have a 
quiet reading time now. Music circle is over. I feel angry. Just silly. Mm. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Will you shut your big mouth? You talk too much. Do you want to use your words? Let me shut your I'm going to wait and mouth. see, OK? You um, talk too much. Who well, is the touching head person me. today? Ephraim, are you ready to touch heads? Yeah. OK, here and we go. And why you shut up? Because you talk too much. Sounds to me like you're still very angry. I hope you that you... talk too much. I hear you talking a lot, too. You talk I too much. I hear very angry talk from you. Oh, shut up. You know, Norma, sometimes we get upset and angry when the bus doesn't come and we're waiting. I'm not angry because the bus didn't pick me up. I'm angry because of your big mouth. Oh, I knew something made you angry. I didn't know what it was, because you didn't tell me. I thought maybe it's because you were waiting for your bus and it didn't come. Sometimes that would make me angry. I'd say, I want to go to school. Where is my bus? Where is my bus driver? That's right. You don't even... You don't even... I on that bus. Mm. What's wrong with you? Fucking big belt. Okay. Who is our attendance person today? Hi, Tommy. Steven? 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 Let me ask you a question that is bothering me mm -hmm. all day about Ephraim this morning. Yeah. With the incident when he was telling you that you have a big mouth, yes. he was very angry with you. Why did you let Ephraim go on when he was telling you that you have right. a big mouth? I mean, why, why didn't you stop it right away? Uh, it seems that, that he always gets his way. He mm -hmm. was just... Yeah, it sounds yeah. so disrespectful. Yeah. Like, well, I know it sounds that way. And uh, all I can say is that I do encourage him to speak. Uh, remember six months ago? He wouldn't have been able to talk at that time. He would have come in and start punching and being physically aggressive. So I see this as a step forward. It's so hard to, uh, to hear him say yes. that. I mean, it's like, stop already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, when you come out of school, you think that you're going to have so much discipline in your class and everyone's going to listen. And to hear that, like, that attack, it was, like, incredible. We have to have patience. Well, it's a struggle with me, too, and, and uh, I see this is right for him now, because mm -hmm. I know where he came from. Right. And I know right. that he is showing all the control he can and, and letting me know this way. I guess at least he's talking. Yeah. Which is better yeah. than, uh, than hitting. Right. Right? It's like the same attack, that thing with the shaving cream, right. when he got so angry at me. And he, and Oh, you were. You were verbally attacked. Yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. I think it showed him that you really cared and that you would accept the verbal attack. And that is also better than him lunging at you or being very assaultive, which he had been six months ago. Yeah. So it's a way of releasing his anger and speaking rather That's than right. hitting. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. better. Yeah. But I think yeah. it showed him a lot in how you feel and care about him, that you weren't angry at him, mm -hmm. you know, and allowed yeah. him the luxury of, of she was telling. listening. Right. Yeah. He was just listening, yeah. But I know I the feelings, because I felt the same way. Uh -huh. yeah. I hope maybe six months from now he won't. You know, he'll, he'll say it in a more acceptable way. Good. Now can you put in the other hand? You know, Lori, I really think that Ephraim does not want to hit. Mm -hmm. I really think he's gone beyond that. Mm -hmm. I think he cares. There is a relationship. After all, this is the second year that Ephraim's in this class. I'm so happy to see us good friends. I think this morning we were awful angry at each other. But we're friends now. I am the teacher and I have to come out looking okay and, and in control and in charge of the class. But I think that this developmentally is good for him. Because I know how hard it was for him to do this. And he's so close to rage right. so often. Right. I don't want to be a police person. I want mm -hmm. the, the struggle to be his, and I want it to be... Do you want him to stop Right, himself? I want it to, him to be able to internalize it and stop himself. I can't right. follow him around through life. We're not hitting now. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. What happened, Ephraim? I don't want to tell you. Oh, did you want to talk about that? No. No. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, push me. Don't you push me down. You can play with me. I will. We can play all day. Oh, boy. You can use my music.
put them away. You can feed me apples and oranges and plums. You can even wash my face. Don't you push me down. Don't you push me, push me, 